Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about certain prayers that are made by those who are close to Allah. One of them is, رَبَّنَا هَبْ لَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّاتِنَا قُرَّةَ أَعْيُنْ وَجَعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا O oh Allah, O oh our Rabb, O oh our Rabb, grant us, we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hab lana, grant for us, from our spouses and our children, our family members, those who are the coolness of our eyes. When you look at them, you're so happy. When you look at them, you just don't get fooled. Mashallah, you need to look again. You need to look again, subhanallah. Imagine a guy married for 20 years, following his wife, just looking at her face and smiling. La ilaha illallah. That is real. That is real, mashallah. What's wrong with it? When you do something like that, it's actually an ibadah. You made someone feel worthwhile. With, as they develop the wrinkles on their faces, you adored them more. You made them feel worthwhile. You know what? If she is aging, you're aging too. Subhanallah. You're aging too. You need to look. You need to appreciate. You need to acknowledge. You need to say good words. Try it out at home today. And you can invite us for the Walima tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, you know, it will be so appreciated. A lot of us lack romance in our homes. The Prophet ﷺ talks about it. You know, I've had people come to complain saying, you know what, we haven't been intimate in two years. And I'm like, gosh, man, you know, I wonder what's going on here. You have to make an effort, my brothers, my sisters. Do you know the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, when they were told, fi budu'i ahadikum sadaqatan, to be intimate with your spouse is an act of worship and an act of charity. They were also looking and they wanted to ask a question. Subhanallah. They said, Oh Messenger, you know, you know, you mean I'm going to just fulfill my sexual desire and I'm going to get a reward for it, you know? There was no embarrassment. I'm, I'm actually honored to be speaking in the house of Allah about what the messenger, peace be upon him, said. He said, hey, if you were to put your organ in haram, would you get a sin? They said, yes. Well, if you put it in halal, you'll get a big reward. There was no embarrassment. He spoke about it. Ibadah. One day, may Allah grant this man Jannah, he passed away. One of the Imams in one of the masajid back at home in South Africa. The Imam was slightly late for Salatul Fajr. Slightly late, a few, like a few minutes. Now you know what happens with the Imams. Normally you have the people behind their role. Hey, you late, you late. He got up, he said, brothers, don't, don't pick on me. I was engaged in another act of worship. <laughs> He says, I've come from ibadah to ibadah. <laughs> it's a fact. And you know what? Those who understood knew what he was saying. They, and he said it. And nobody dared say a word. From that day, he was the hero of all the youngsters. <laughs> they said, the man is old, but he's not cold. <laughs> May Allah grant us each. We're talking of a happy family. Wallahi, I've told you. I've given you quite a bit. Obviously, we won't be able to say everything. But we've spoken about a lot, including intimacy. It's very important with the right people. Many people commit haram. And for that reason, they are blinded about their own spouses. You know, when we say the I love you's and I adore you's and we send these messages that we're embarrassed to show our own spouses because we're sending them to the wrong people. Wallahi, if you were to use half of those haram messages in a halal way, you'd have the happiest family. Follow what I'm saying. And as we grow older, say it more. Appreciate your spouse. They sacrificed a lot for you. Subhanallah. I remember the guy. The guy saying, well, you know, my wife is a bit out of shape. Subhanallah. <laughs> Brother, you look like a pear. <laughs> you worried about what your wife looks like. Are you worried about what you look like? It's like the guy telling his wife, you know what? Your belly's a bit big. She says, I know, I'm about to be a mother. 
What about yours? It's big as well. He says, well, I'm about to be a father. <laughs> La ilaha illallah. May Allah grant us ease. We must take pride in what we look like. Yes, we must. For our own health, our own goodness. Yes, the spouse included yours. You wouldn't like, you know, uh, to waste yourself. But at the same time, you need to sometimes understand it takes a while. Some people, perhaps, they've given you four, five, three, two children, one after the other, subhanAllah. And then when the children came, you know what? You were disinterested in this woman. Or disinterested completely for what? That's when the, the ibadah comes into play. Think about why the Prophet said that to us. Imagine I'm sitting and thinking that must have been Masjid al Nabawi. It must have been some much more sacred place, Makkah or Medina. It can't have been a third place. It was probably Medina. In fact, if we look back at it, it was in Medina. Imagine they were saying that. What was that all about? The ingredients of a happy family. <laughs> 